Hello and welcome back to Throughout Sight Season 2. As you can probably tell, we are in the shopping district. We have lots of shops popping up around here, and this is my own shop. Um, I think that is a little bit close to the world, but I guess it's okay. This guy's shop is also close to the world. So I've kind of been walking on this between episodes, and as you can see inside, there is absolutely nothing on the interior. So I do have this wall, like, 80% finished, I would say. It has some details, it's not completely finished, so, okay, and, so yeah, I have ran out of resources, though, and I cannot continue building. Okay, so I've pretty much finished the outside of the base, well, at least these two walls, this one and this one are mostly finished, but, um, this big wall over here is not detailed yet, it's just kind of plain. But right now, I found this nice bow, it has Unbreaking 3 and Power 3. And I want to get infinity on it, so I don't have to use a lot of arrows. As you can see, it sells books for just one diamond. Um, I didn't bring any diamonds, but they do have this endo chest gone, of course. Okay, so I have kind of done a little bit of base expansion. I have kind of added this small area over here. And over here, I decided that I liked it better with this as kind of a land. I have added this part right here, and also have filled on the inside with pain. I'm pretty happy with how it came out so far, but I don't really have anything that I want to do with this space at the moment, so I am probably just going to leave it like this. But one thing I do want to do is make some more interesting terrain around this area. I want to add some trees and bushes and make it just a lot more polished. I did a little bit of walk around this area, I didn't do very much. Uh, as you can see, it's just a little bit plain off. What I did want to do is, as you can see, in my inventory, I have a bunch of sugarcane, a bunch of string, and a little bit of redstone, and I want to sell that at my shop. Okay, I was walking on the shopping district, it became nighttime, and there was like a bunch of mobs, so I just ran in here, but then a creeper got into one of these. And just exploded. Jungle Ink temporary HQ. And inside what we have is assorted goods, one diamond for two stacks. As you can see we have sugar cane, string, and redstone dust. Now the thing is, over here to get some of these same Okay, as I was saying, over here to get the same stuff, canes, you have to pay us a diamond per stack. And if you want to get some one stack of string for one dime. The sugarcane and the string are twice as cheap at my place. So one thing I thought would be a good idea is to actually mine a bunch of obsidian and sell it because obsidian is a grindy thing to get and I feel like people would buy it if I sell it for cheap enough at my shop. But as you can see, it takes a long time to mine obsidian. Each diamond gives I'm just about to end off the video, but before we do that, I'm gonna check got any sales at the shop okay do we get any sales no sales how about an obsidian sale no well that's the end of the episode bye